housing levy. That housing levy is actually meant for workers, for the low-income people. Why it's called low-income housing. And if you do that, you'll be able to actually create more wealth down there and change the status of the, the workers down there. So this is something that actually should have been promoted by the trade union. Court is the one who should be leading this process. Housing levy. Housing levy. You remember housing levy? We will not your son. We will not have your son. We will not have your son. We You can't do it. And where did you get the 3% from? Additional tax of 3% on an employer. That is completely unsustainable. So we said this thing need to be shelved and must be shelved. So hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Elijah Geshoro. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you from a different destination, but same amazing content. So let's continue watching, liking, subscribing and commenting to this YouTube channel. As I say, this is the greatest YouTuber in the Republic of Kenya. Now, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga and Opposition Chief of the Republic of Kenya has come up to support the housing levy, you know. Uh, he's saying that the housing levy... Um, sorry for the noise, guys. The housing levy is a creation that is meant to support the low-income earners in the country and it's part of the affordable housing. Uh, so, the former Prime Minister has been seen opposing the housing levy, but a video has surfaced online. I'm going to attach it so that you can see him supporting the housing levy. So, we have seen the, the former Prime Minister saying most of the projects you see being implemented by Ruto's regime and even Uhuru's regime former prime minister claims that he was the chief architect of these projects even the sgr projects such as um the super highway the, any successful project in kenya he claims that he has a hand in it and that he was it sorry for the shaking and that he was the architect of these projects and was engaged in the formulation of this project so this time around we have seen him coming up to support the housing levy amid all odds you guys you know how he has been fighting he has been on the streets he has been doing so many things and this really shows that in politics it's a matter of interest because if the former prime minister supported the housing levy that time what why is he opposing it right now affordable housing and this is something that was not properly understood when the Jubilee government wanted to introduce it. A housing levy. That housing levy is actually meant for workers, for the low-income people. That's why it's called low-income housing. And if you do that, you'll be able to actually create more wealth down there and more and in, and change the status of the, the workers down there. So this is something that actually should have been promoted by the trade union. Court is the one who should be leading this process. What is the cause of going to the streets? This means that he's not objective in his fight against uh, the finance bill or the housing levy to be specific. Because I believe he should have consistency of thoughts. You should be consistent in what you believe in and what you don't believe in, what you tolerate and what you don't tolerate. So now seeing him come up and say now he's a, a, a video showing he had supported it. You know, even if he has changed his mind, you need to tell us why. He owes us an explanation for why he's being uh, so much focused on making sure the housing levy uh, does not work. Is it just a way of sabotaging the government efforts or he is being objective in what he's fighting for? There are so many videos uh, that have surfaced online, uh, the former prime minister contradicting himself in different positions uh, that he has of things that he believes in. Yeah? For example, the anti-gay bills, we saw him having a very sharp contradiction 
on one moment he says no on the other moment he says we support gay rights i mean you know people will not take you seriously <laughs> if you just having different opinions every time every time you're changing your positions you it's like you stand for nothing and we normally say if you stand for nothing you'll fall for anything so i uh, would we'll love to see him explain that video um, and why he's opposed to it and yet he had supported it you know at that point uh, president who was the president and that was the regime that was in power so does it mean he was supporting it simply because President Ruto, President Uhuru was the president and they had a handshake? Or does it mean that he was supporting it because it was to benefit Kenyans, especially the low people in the society? And this is not the first time we're seeing affordable housing. President Kibaki also did affordable housing for people at Kibera. And some were successful, you know, they, they were paying it like a mortgage. So you pay rent, but it's like a mortgage, you get so now we're seeing a scenario where all these leaders are opposing but they don't have alternatives to uh, the, the, this situation and in a recent video he came out to say housing levy he knows about housing levy but his argument was you can't tax people when the economy is in recession and the economy is not working well that he knows so much about housing levy and that the jubilee I know the Jubilee, but the UDA Kenya Kosa government should be able to consult him. Housing levy. You remember housing levy? We mean I do a son. Wange kuja kwango kama fuzo. Wange wafundisha. Hawajui. You cannot introduce additional tax when the economy is in depression. You can't do it. And where did you get the 3% from? If you're saying it's investment, how about the employer? 3%. Investment, his employer is investing in what? Additional tax of 3% on an employer. That is completely unsustainable. So you said this thing needs to be shelved and must be shelved. So this issue of housing levy and finance bill has really brought heated politics in the territory of the Republic of Kenya. And we are really waiting to see the voting of MPs. The House resumes tomorrow, the August House of the National Assembly. And we are really waiting to see um, how, how the MPs will vote. The President said he has an interest to see the MPs who will vote against the development of Kenya. So according to the president, the housing levy is not just about houses. It's about employment. That one house, to construct one house, you need so much labor. And now the multiply effect of this labor on all these homes will end unemployment. But Kenyans are arguing that. Also Raila Odinga has been seen arguing that. If you're saying... Housing levy 3% is for the employee and 3% is from for the employer. So, and you're saying you'll refund the employee his 3% after 7 years. What happens to the employer? Will you still refund the employer? That is the question Raila Odinga was posing to government. You know, and I'll also attach that video here so that you can listen to him asking that question. You know? That if you'll refund to the employee, does it mean you'll also refund to the employer? Yeah, that was the question he was asking about this um, housing levy. So yeah, the prayer, we can authoritatively say uh, Raila Odinga had supported the housing levy. Now I don't know if the metrics have changed. Maybe the terms of support when he was supporting it were different from now. Maybe the bill was a little bit different or the administration of the housing levy was a little bit different compared to how the terms are today. You know, maybe the terms have changed and that is why he's also, his position is also changing. So we're waiting to see him come up clean on that. We're also waiting for a statement from him. Remember he had given up to Monday, which is today, 
for the president and the Kenya Kwanza government to change the finance bill or else uh, they didn't specify the consequences but there is nothing they can really do being in the opposition not having control of anything in the country any power organ in the country any state organ there is li literally zero to nothing that they can do other than go to the streets and maybe demonstrate you know which is their right according to constitution but really, I don't think there's anything else substantial that they can do to influence the government. Remember, the government also has the majority. And this majority is the one that is going to vote for the bill, you know. Um, and uh, the, the former prime minister claims that the government doesn't have the majority. It is a forced majority because of intimidating the MPs who are supposed to the MPs who are supposed to vote and also bribing them, buying them, he's calling them poaching and uh, just buying them with money so that we've seen so many defections from Jubilee to wherever, wherever. People are just moving out of that party and they are coming to the UDA party but they are saying these are just defections uh, that are happening because of money and not really because they really want to they really want to represent the people in that side of government. So yeah, we're waiting to see, to see, to see, to see. Hey, Posana, Viti, uh, my fans there, you guys. So we are waiting to see uh, what um, what uh, the president, I mean the former pre prime minister, will to say uh, in regards to this and. Um, We'll see. We'll see. Let's wait for the opposition. Uh, the Kenyans are really anticipating to see what will become of them uh, after they had really talked tough on all this issue of housing levy, finance bill, and things like that. But with this such kind of video surfacing, then their influence continues to be neutralized because at one point they are supporting it another point they are saying is wrong so as kenyans which way kenyans which way do they follow do they follow what they are saying or do they follow uh, what they are saying now what they said in the past so they should come out clean and state their positions and defend those videos so that people will see these people have a consistency of purpose and also a consistency of thoughts Thank you so much for watching this video. This has been Elijah Geshuru. Uh, continue liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my YouTube videos. Also, give me suggestions. What stories do you want me to cover? What can I change? What can I do better? How can I improve? I love you so much, and thank you for the support. Thank you.